you know, y'all was friends and all like that, and then something has turned, you know, of any case. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, up all yeah. of a sudden, you know, you at home chilling, minding your business, doing whatever. And then all of a sudden you get a knock at the door and here's the police over here talking about, yeah, we 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 got to arrest you for rape. Like rape. Who? Yeah. Rape what? Oh, well, the young lady, exactly. you know, the young lady uh, two weeks ago. Wait, two weeks ago. Or, or even. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, well, how am I supposed to remember what happened years ago or two weeks ago or whatever? Mm -hmm. But I was thinking some main point, because, you know, I go off on a tangent about this, like, because I feel very strongly about it. It's happened more than once to more than one family member. And I've literally, when I was growing up, I hung around the bad girls. And some of them had a reputation for doing that. And I would just be like, man, you need to stop. You need to shut up. Sorry, I picked up a bad habit. I'm going to be smoking. But some of the points I think we need to focus on is what you said, boys. Young men need to be more careful. Mm -hmm. Men in general need to be careful who they're with. They need mm -hmm. to, you know, if you're raising someone else's child, make sure you document with social services if they have any issues. Make mm -hmm. sure that there's documentation. Mm -hmm. When you get accused of something, if a detective gets a hold of you, Instead of, if you're not just arrested, make sure you get that lawyer right away. Because the mistake we made is when it happened, we just talked to a lawyer. So mm -hmm. happens he wasn't a good one. He said in six months, if you don't hear anything, it'll go away. No, not no, true. No, especially up here. And this and this is a small place where I believe the 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 cr cr criminal justice system up here. Because I went for criminal justice. I think we talked about that. Mm -hmm. They're not very educated, and they don't make as much as us truckers. So it don't mean shit to them, you know. If right. one of the, one of the detectives in our cases is actually under investigation for, um, you know, falsifying statements and stuff like that, taking bribes. So, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that we're dealing with up here. Is so, that it's so small? So like, I it can be. It can be. Go ahead, sorry. Oh, I went off again. No. Uh, so, like I said, I mean, you know, for guys, especially for young men, because you know how a lot of us, is, you know, a lot of us men, you know, we get females that send us pictures and all like that, you know, provocative, you know, provocative way. I mean, provocative pictures and all like that. And yep. what young men don't, I mean, what young men don't fail to realize that, you know, if a 16 or 17 year old is sending you provocative pictures, they can, t they can, and, yep. you, and you're 18, you know, like what happened to him, you're 18, those pictures can be considered, uh, what is it, uh, child pornography. Yeah, statutory rape technically, even though and there's you, not much of an age difference right. there. And and you didn't even do nothing. You you guys was just talking. Y'all was like, you know, y'all was like, you know, maybe together or something like that. Because you know, I know, I know, like back in the day, I'm I'm in my fifties, right? So you know, I yeah, knew yeah. I, I knew uh, I knew a couple of people from back in the day. Like I knew this the I knew my one guy. You know, he was uh. He was 19, I believe, 19 going on 20. And his and his girlfriend, yep. his girlfriend at the time was 16. You know what I'm saying? So back then it was like kind of okay, but not how crazy it is now. But now it's like. Right. <sighs> Rest them and then make, and he don't have a chance. And you just ruined this man's whole life. Just because he didn't his, his whole life. Right. Just because he broke you up were with angry. you. He broke up with you. You got angry with him or and all like that. Or you wanted to you. get right he and you wanted to get back you. at him. Exactly. Yep. That's why that's why and for I, young what, men. Oh, oh go ahead. Go ahead. Not just young men. I, I, there's a couple points and you tell me if we should make them or not. Okay. One point is like I said, raise uh, young men. Mm -hmm. We could talk, you know, quickly go over, or whatever you want to do because it's your show and oh, you no, do we, best. So, yeah, we, I'll, I'll just edit whatever, but, edit out, so. Yeah, yeah, okay. Another thing is, is women who are really raped and don't come forward, 
then you know. Now you know this for hurts the women. Me. Now for the women that. This now, hurts me. Right now for the women, don't get me wrong. For the women that was truly raped by you know maybe by a family member or somebody outside, come out yep. right then and there. Don't hold it in. Don't hold right. it in, and there's, that's what. There's psychological. If there's there's all kinds of psychological things that you can go into there that reasons why they don't psychological reasons like they're afraid or you know abuse but i totally agree with you we need to stress that to the women like if it happens come to on, you go it, to a women's group right if it happens to you right then and there then you know on legitimate stuff on the legitimate side i would say yep, don't i, I would say don't hold it in because like coming out like 15 20 30 years later kind of make you look like a vindictive type of person and you just, you know. And it also looks like, it also, looks, well, they say, well, you know, it's it's a hard thing to come. It was family. It was this. It was that. You know, they look at it like that. But um, the important thing is, is if they're a woman, they can go to a woman's group. Even though they're traumatized, the best thing to do is go to a woman's group, talk to them, and have them help you come forward right away. Don't wait. Because then it makes it harder for guys who are being falsely accused, you know, to, it makes it harder for them because it confuses the whole justice system. It confuses people and people don't see it that way. When the news portrays it, they make it look as bad as it possibly can because it's public record. So women need to, that's something I think we need to, to address possibly if you think so and then another thing is is like i said young boys women coming forward right away and also um you know men who raise other women's children be careful like be careful that that woman is not vindictive or you know even if they are your kids you have to be careful because i I've, I've heard stories of men who they're they're their ex-wives, ex-baby mamas, whatever, they go and they say, oh, well, I'm going to say this and I'm going to do this so that you'll never see your kids again, so that you'll get locked up and blah, 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 you know. And the guy, you know, is men are not taken seriously in these situations because the, the scales have completely tipped from women being the ones, you know, that had it bad, you know, coming out at two men are the ones with no rights in these situations. And I think it's important that we emphasize, I think it's important that we emphasize once you are accused, get a lawyer if you're not arrested immediately. Um, I think it's important that you get a lawyer and it's important to, what was I going to say? If you're falsely accused, it's important that you get a lawyer right away. Don't, you know, wait and hope it'll go away because, you know, you'd never know. And then um, be careful about the woman that you associate with. You know, learn to have self-respect. Don't be around women that, you know, are saying things like this to you. Record it. Record it. Have evidence. Any evidence you can. You know, if you're helping raise a child that's not yours, or even if she's saying stuff like that, record these things, get proof that she is going against you just out of spite. I think those are important. All right. You know. Well, what do you? Let me ask you this before we get up out of here. What? What are? What? What are some ways that? Uh, that I know you just mentioned a few. But what yeah. are what are other what are other ways that men can you know protect themselves from getting involved with uh, disrespect or dis uh, despiteful you know, women? See if she's ever accused anyone before, and if she has, did she go and actually accuse? Was it actually um, proven? that the person was guilty or was she just going around accusing um you know does she, does she have a reputation for things like this because as much as we want to love a girl or, or love some women you know 
there are, I've seen women with reputations that, that just go out there and say, oh yeah, he raped me. Because, you know, for attention, they do this for attention too, or because they didn't get their way. And you, there's usually a pattern. Sometimes there's a pattern with this whole getting revenge thing, and you may not see it right away. Mm. It goes is, back to before you date someone, you I, know, I make sure you know that. who they really are. I, that, make sure you know who. I was about to mention or that. Who, when it, you hang out with someone. Yeah. I, I was about to mention that, you know, this this goes back to the dating phase. Find out and know who you're who you're dating. Yep. Yep, because you know, the law is not on your side once she goes and accuses you and most of the time men get arrested right away and a lot of them cannot afford depending on the charges that they're like in my husband's case, I'll tell you this, he was facing eight charges and He's facing eight charges, but a lot of them have been, you know, um, we, you know, uh, the lawyers working on it. Right. But basically, uh, eight charges, eight charges. Yeah. After all this time, eight charges. That would have been over. If all of them were really to stick, that would be four hundred years in prison. Well, I appreciate so, I appreciate you coming on and. You know, telling your, you know, yeah. tell, telling the story of, uh, of, of a uh, crisis of abuse and and men, you know, not being able to, you know, not being able to protect themselves in situations like that. So guys men really, need to speak up really for need men to, because right. Is there any? What, what, what's the name of the? What's the name of the group? And is there any other? Uh, help sources for men that's in that situation unfortunately i haven't really found any other help other than talking to people who do podcasts and um but you can't talk about your open court case if it's open you can't really give any details always wanted to be famous just being